Cindy Otter here with my Artsy Endeavors. How are we doing today? Um, today we're going to talk about knowledge. Um, as you know, this month um, our, our subject, our topic, why do I keep saying subject? Our topic is um, tips and this week's prompt is knowledge. Now there's a couple things I'm going to go over here. These I'm just going to set aside for right now. <coughs> Out of the way. Okay, there are several, several, several places that you can get knowledge. Now, what, I'm going to bring you down. Sorry, you didn't have to see my, me. Okay, um, these books right here, if you are just starting out and you want to learn kind of like the ins and outs um, of things, let's start out. This one's the Artist Bible. It's an essential, essential reference for artists in all mediums. Now, I am not going to go through all these books, but I'm just going to tell you that if you're looking about to learn about a technique, um, a lot of this is watercolor. Is this all watercolor? No, it says all mediums. So, it talks about tain, paint, um, oils, watercolor, brushes, um, techniques, subjects, glass pastels okay um, this is a great great book I've looked through this a few times to find different things that I had questions on this is fantastic all right I'm gonna go through these books but I'm gonna show you whoops did I do that out of camera hang on let's start this over hey guys Cindy out here with my RT endeavors how are you doing today um, today we are here to talk about our topic which is tips and this week's prompt as you guys know is knowledge um, I'm going to give you some book knowledge, but I'm also going to show you my personal, where I get more information from. So let's start with the books. These are just a few that I have on my shelf. Um, this one is called The Artist Bible, and it's it's an essential, it says it's an essential reference for artists in all mediums. Now what I liked about this book is it talks about watercolor, it talks about oil, it talks about how to make your canvases, it talks about drawing. It talks about different effects, subjects, um, pastels, oil pastels. All right, there is a lot of information in here. If you want, if you have questions about services or techniques, this is the place to go. This is one of them, the Artist Bible, okay? Now, I'm not going to tell you the normal inspiration places like Pinterest and YouTube and all that because there's so many other places you can get knowledge. This one's different. Um, this one here, these two actually go together. There's 101 mixed media techniques. Now this is really cool because it has so many different techniques that you can do. Um, just to give you an idea, here's the table of contents. Now that's a lot of techniques, okay? You got painting backgrounds, gessos and mediums, art journaling, repurposed materials, stamping, stenciling, encaustics, transferring, photographs, paper, and texture. Okay, so this is multiple artists that have come together and they have shared with you all of these different techniques and things to do in your mixed media art. All right, so this one is also fantastic 101 mixed media techniques. Here we go 101 more mixed media techniques. Same thing. Um, you've got many, many different uh, artists that are showing you different ways solutions and sprays, paints. Um, Let's see what their table of contents looks like. Now, I've went to these books quite a few times. This has got borders and edges, embossing and casting, drips, drops, and sprays, aging and antiquing, pens, pencils, and pastels, yarn and string, fabrics and fibers, metals, resist masking, alcohol inks, watercolor monotypes, um, pyrography, it's wood, burning wood. Um, washi, gelatos, ephemera, spray ink, alternative surfaces. I mean, there's just so much. And if you're looking for something different to do, these two books should cover just about all of it, right? Okay. Then we've got the people that say, I don't know how to sketch. I don't know how to draw. Okay. This is the Sketching and Drawing Bible. And what it does is it talks to you about how to draw, what um, marks that you'll make, um, different mediums doing it, uh, papers, your tones, 
all kinds of information in here. White line drawing, um, wet brush, markers. I mean, you just name it, it's in here. You can learn so much about drawing just by reading this book. Okay, so this is by Marilyn Scott, The Sketching and Drawing Bible. Now when it comes to your paints and your colors, this is it. This is 1500 color mixing recipes for oil, acrylic, and watercolor. And it also includes two color mixing grids. And here's your mixing grids. Okay, there's one there and there's one in the back. All right, now the author is William F. Powell. And this book will talk to you about anything you want to know about color about mixing color, about mixing skin tones, um, you name it. The facial planes, where you need the lights and darks. All of this information is about color. So how cool is that? And it even tells you, it's got recipes in here. This one you use one part white, one part Naples yellow, and one permanent blue. So you've got tons and tons of recipes. You can make any kind of color you want. All right, so these are the, what I call the academic learning. This is where you go if you're looking for um, something academically on how learning how to do something, right? Now, this is where I like to get more of my knowledge. Let me back up just a little bit. These are books that I've created. Um, one is a binder, a three ring binder, and this is just a composition notebook that I've used. And as it says on the front of it, Art Journaling by Somerset Studios. What I do, when I get the magazines, I will go through and I will look at all of the art in them and then I pick out, man, I really love this blue and this purple together. Okay, and this is where I get some of my knowledge. This is where I get some of my inspiration. Um, I just love to, if, if I'm, you know, feeling uninspired, all I have to do is sit down and look at one of these books. And there is just so much in here that, that I love. Um, whether it's the, the writing, how she did the writing and then colored it in with the light blue, or just picking up little things like on this eye okay yeah she didn't do just a solid blue eye she's got dark blue she's got some light blue she's got some white she's got some black so things like this this is where I like to go to I hate to say it but learn something new um, and I may just take a piece or a part of something and say oh geez you know like for example this is just a piece of scrap paper it looks like it's burnt around the edges well can I do that with uh, you know, a distressed crayon. Yeah, I probably could, right? Um, just enjoying and learning about these these people and these artists and how they do things differently. Look at this. Her eye. Look at her eye. Okay, this is done in black and like white splashes. All right, so right there is a lesson. You don't have to draw a straight line. You know, this this is done in splashes, and I really like it. It's really cool. So I get a lot of knowledge just by flipping through and looking at, love this, looking at different pieces of art. Now, like I said, I didn't cut out every piece of art in the art journaling book. I cut out what interests me, what intrigued me, and I've done a page kind of like that. This is where I got the inspiration from. It was right here. And I'm not sure who this artist is. Um, but yeah, this is GT. I'm not sure who GT is. But this is where I learn a lot. Love this. I love this. Okay, there's a couple different ladies. They're, they're done, you know, just sketchy. I love it. Um, like I said, ideas, inspiration, knowledge. I pick up a lot of knowledge right here, right out of this book. This is really cool. She just did kind of an arm and a bird sitting on top. Just be still. I love it. Um, you know, just learning to use different colors together. 
okay she's got red and orange over top of this blue and green now I am not a huge fan of orange but I like this I think this is really cool you know um, just right here she's got like watercolor lines and some of them she's watered down to blur that's really cool that's another technique again it's gaining knowledge I just I love it because when I look at others art I learn that okay Cindy I don't have to do a same hairstyle I can do a wonky hairstyle why not so you know sometimes I think of knowledge and inspiration as the same in some ways and in other ways I think hmm, you know knowledge is when I have to learn how to do the technique or how to to make you know a certain effect effect or um, that type of thing but I also put knowledge and inspiration hand in hand because every time I pick up my journals and I do a journal page I'm learning right okay these are bigger pages um, these are bigger ones that again like I said something about them stuck to me um, I have so many of these and and I just I pick up a little bit of knowledge on everything anything I look at so don't think the only place you can get knowledge is at on Pinterest or on YouTube or by taking classes um, you can gain knowledge just by looking through a magazine like art journaling um, and I am in no way affiliated with them, but uh, I just happen to love the magazine. But you can just look at these pages and just gain knowledge from it. Look at this. This looks like a coffee and tea, style, tea stained piece of paper, doesn't it? Okay, and then she just kind of drew some lines, wrote some stuff in with pencil, and I just, you know, I'm learning, okay, well, so really, her focal point is this little cup here. But, here, let me bring it so you guys can see it a little bit better. Let me bring you in. All right, so here she is. She just kind of, you know, she started doodling, basically, on the lettering. And then she just let it go into the pencil. There's her focal point. And just all these little doodads all these little um, doodles around the page how cool is that so I consider that picking up knowledge because hmm you know that gives me ideas of what I can do with my page and you know I like the effect of it so again there's knowledge I'm not sure what some oh these are some all kinds of stuff in here some drawings and some pictures and yeah all kinds of stuff Look at this. Isn't that awesome? How cool is that? And again, like I said, I hate these lights. I'm going to have to get new lights, guys, because these lights are driving me crazy. Look, do it like this. So, like I said, don't forget that, you know, looking in magazines or checking out other um, artists' art, you can find more knowledge. Look at that. That's a Dina Wakely. That has to be a Dina Wakely right there. But, you know, don't forget to, um, you know, look through your sources of inspiration and gain knowledge through that as well. <laughs> Those are cool, aren't they? That's Leslie Wood. I love her art. Love, love, love her art. All right. So there we go. I'm sharing my knowledge with you today on where I get my knowledge, my inspiration, um, and also by talking to other artists. You know, um, this is where I get it, and this is where I sit and and play. And that's that's one of the other big places to gain your knowledge is by just taking out your supplies and playing with them. You're going to learn a lot that way. All right. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. Um, I will go ahead and try to put links to these products, uh, including the art journaling, in the description below. If I forget, please let me know and I will get you the information. But um, as always, thanks so much for watching. Have fun. That's what life's all about. Happy creating and I'll see you again. Chat soon. Bye.